Here is a question that I'm almost certain is on many people's consciousness. Does Avi Arad hate Marvel's deal with Sony? And I mean, that's a fair question to ponder because Avi Arad is the producer of Spider-Man. It's almost like whether or not he hates the Marvel and Sony deal is equivalent to a concerned parent who is skeptical about the well-being of their child. It's normal. Well, here's the answer to this question, and it comes from an extract from an upcoming book called With Great Power, How Spider-Man Conquered Hollywood During the Golden Age of Comic Book Blockbusters. They couldn't have made this title any longer? I mean, jeez. So anyway, the direct disclosed something from the extract that's very intriguing to read. Uh, and that's Avi Arad saying something quite um, t telling about the Sony and Marvel deal in the following statement. They did it for money. Terrible. Like giving away your kids for adoption just because you're not sure what to do with them. So that's that was a short quote. But I'm sure that um, if you uh, buy with great power how Spider-Man conquered Hollywood during the golden age of comic book blockbusters, you're going to find his statement with context surrounding it, or perhaps he's actually onto something when he actually means full stop. They did it for the money. Marvel and Sony weren't being altruistic when it came to the Spider-Man deal. Or maybe Avi Arad is just being salty because he woke up on the wrong side of the bed one morning. I mean, it could be both. I, for one, think that his stance might be a little out of place, especially because I think that the Sony and Marvel deal was the best thing that both the MCU and Sony Pictures could have done, especially given the poor situation with Andrew Garfield and the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, because what the deal with Sony and Marvel have basically confirmed was guaranteed Spider-Man's place in an already established universe from the first Iron Man uh, to at the time Age of Ultron and then they came up with the deal for Spider-Man to show up in Civil War it pretty much guaranteed three movies without a single one being cancelled Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man No Way Home as well as a additional upcoming fourth Spider-Man movie which is now in development are those movies. Under Avi Arad's leadership, however, there are only two movies with Andrew Garfield, with a third movie being cancelled. We don't even know if it's going to be made today, or at any day, because there's a petition that's gone out online where people essentially want them to make The Amazing Spider-Man 3 with Andrew Garfield. And Sony has the right to do that, because Spider-Man is the sole property of Sony Pictures. So, hey, they can go ahead and do that, or just, you know, let the MCU take care of Spider-Man for them. On top of that, and this is coming from someone who really liked it, Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire just shoehorned Venom and Sandman out of nowhere. And there was one, you know, moment in the movie where they essentially killed Sandman off, allegedly. And then they brought him back just because it was convenient to the screenplay. That was Avi Arad's decision. Because Sam Raimi actually wanted to save Venom, or I'm not sure if it was Sandman. But he wanted to save one of those two villains for the fourth Spider-Man movie. But Avi Arad wanted to create a... You know, a packed movie. Because, I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe, you know, third movie. Up the stakes a bit, you know. But, whatever his mindset was. And even though Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 3 was severely underrated, in my opinion. The scene where Harry Osborn died is probably one of the most gut-wrenching scenes out of all of the other Spider-Man movies. But still, 
it didn't perform well in the box office, and I'm pretty sure that many people would have Avi Arad to blame for that. So trust me when I say that I am not criticizing Spider-Man 3. It's just that there was a lack of organization when it came to handling the Spider-Man trilogy or lack thereof. But all of that got fixed as a result of the Sony and Spider-Man deal. Because although there have been a few bumps along the way, Tom Holland got three movies. And fingers crossed, they're going to go through the fourth installment with Tom Holland. And even if there isn't going to be a Spider-Man 4, Tom Holland's Spider-Man had more appearances in movies when compared to Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Tom was in Civil War, Homecoming, Infinity War, Endgame Far From Home, and of course, No Way Home. In fact, uh, all three of the Spider-Man were in No Way Home. Like, there is no question that Spider-Man had an eventful career in the MCU. Again, especially in No Way Home. I mean, had it not been for the Sony and Marvel deal, which, again, Avi Arad claims that it just it's just to make money, there wouldn't have even been a crossover between three different Spider-Men. You know, they, they wouldn't have developed the bond between the audience and Tom Holland if he hadn't had the deal at all. And then it wouldn't have been as impactful. So, I mean, I don't know. Perhaps Avi Arad had some valid concerns, but when you say something like, they did it for money, well, I mean, I know I've been arguing against that statement, but let's say on the off chance he did do it for money, and chances are, 99.5% chance. Filmmakers don't create art for fun. They create it to generate a profit margin. If you want to see filmmakers who make movies for free, go watch a fan film. Or go watch uh, one of those... Check out one of those free libraries where they offer free movies that are low budget or straight to television. Or go watch a movie on cable where they're going to put ads every few seconds, you know? Like, trust me, No Way Home wouldn't have been made to begin with if the studio wasn't going to get a return on their investments. Anyways, you're only hearing my perspective and many other people's, you know, thoughts when it comes to Avi Arad blasting Marvel's deal with Sony. Although blasting is kind of a big word. Maybe I might put it for clickbait or something. If you're not one of those people, I mean, are you? I honestly don't know. So why not let me know whatever your thoughts are in the comment section below or our Twitter inbox at Cinema Courtroom. Links are in the description below.